Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Girl, did Andy Cohen just confirm the return of Miss Kenya Moore to the Real Housewife of Atlanta? Girl, we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another day full of tea. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And if you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture streets and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. And before we start, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from Rose Forever. Rose Forever are amazing, beautiful, real roses that last up to a year with a special treatment with oils. This bouquet right here has been with me for over six months and look how amazing it still looks and smells amazing, okay? If you want to get your bouquet of flowers, go to my link on the description below and just by clicking on it, you will get 20% of your order automatically, okay? They have different sizes, different colors, different shapes. They ship everywhere around the world. So go and get your roses from Rose Forever right now, especially with the holidays around the corner. They are the perfect gift. Believe me, everyone always is dying for me to get, uh, get them this. Um, so let's talk about this uh, mess. One of the biggest conversations when it comes to the Real Housewife of Atlanta is, okay, what about Miss Kenya Moore? Is she going to return to the show? Is she going to be back on the show at some point? What is going to happen? And also, because we know that she filmed a good portion of the show and then she got fired, it's like, are we going to be seeing those scenes? You know, are we going to see really what happened? Are we going to be able to, like, judge kenya and be the ones who actually decide if she is the one if, if she deserves to come back or not to the show or is the, or are they just gonna scrap everything and basically kind of like gaslighting us into believing that just kenya never exists right so uh that was a big question for a very very long time and now mr andy cohen has confirmed amazing news to us as you know during this weekend it was bravo uh bravo fan fest in miami there was a lot of panels it was not bravo con but they they definitely did something fun over there with a lot of bravo celebrities and andy coin spilled a lot of tea related to the real housewives of uh atlanta and one thing that he confirmed was that we will see Kenya Moore appear in season 16 and that the scandal involving Brit Itty will not be edited out. And I have to tell you, this gives me so much pleasure. I think it is the right call. I think they did an amazing choice because we need to know, okay? Kenya Moore has been very adamant going around saying, look, I did something wrong, but I did not did what they are trying to accuse me for, you know, which uh, basically this Brit girl is trying to accuse her of revenge porn. And she's like, I did not engage in any revenge porn. I did not do any of that, you know, and I think, you know, people should know. So the fact that we're going to be seeing what really went down is really going to give us uh, like a good. Like, we're going to be able to see, you know, to judge uh, for ourselves. Uh, according to what I heard, it's that she post, she put some pictures of Brit, you know, with some, like, like uh, photo shoot uh, dicks all around her, you know. I don't know how much uh, of that is true or not. That was part of what I heard. And that definitely is not revenge porn. You know what I mean? It's a dick move, but it's not revenge porn, right? So it's just a very shady thing to do, which, you know, these ladies in Atlanta are known for being very shady. You know what I mean? 
So anyways, I, I think it's amazing. I'm so sorry. I'm a sucker for Miss Kenya Moore. I think she is she is part of the face of Atlanta right now. And it was very shocking to see that that they're just going to like dismiss her like this, you know. Of course, Kenya Moore has done her fair share, you know, of, the, of, of apologizing and taking accountability. She went to the Tamron Hall show the other day and she apologized and she took full accountability and she cried and she did everything. So I was like, you know what? To me, it's not even that big of a deal, you know. I I'm thinking that we that they punish Kenya by not letting her film the rest of the season, but I'm pretty sure that she's gonna be at the reunion and she's probably even gonna be uh, uh, coming back next season, you know. Which I again think is the right move for her. Now, talking about Atlanta, uh, Andy Cohen has opened up a lot during this weekend, you know, basically saying that. Uh, they knew that they took their sweet time, but that they are very aware of what they're trying to do and that they wanted to put the right cast. They wanted to put the right thing because they understood that Atlanta was not going anywhere. You know, it was really going down. But also he says something interesting. He says this is a, a pivotal moment for Atlanta. You know, they are at a crossroads. That was literally his his word. He says they are at crossroads right now, and we just wanted to make it right. Which kind of like make me think it translates to if this season doesn't do good, we're going to be out. You know what I mean? It will be very sad to, to see the ending of Atlanta, but at the end of the day, like the last seasons of Atlanta, uh, we're not giving the same that they used to do before. You know, I think... You know, I mean, we all have, we all kind of like agree that, you know, throwing Nini Leaks away was one of the biggest mistakes of Bravo. But then Nini took it to a whole other level, blacklisting, blacklisting him, get what? Blacklisting it herself? Is that the way to say Latino moment? But anyways, I feel that Nini just took it way too far with the accusations and the lawsuits and all of that, instead of what trying to find a, where, a, a way to work things through, you know? Um, so it, the show suffered because of that and it, it never was the same. Now, I think they finally might probably had a, a winning formula with Portia Williams and Phaedra Parks and Cindy Bailey returning to the show. They just need to keep Kenya Moore back. I'm so sorry, bring some newbies, you know, and then we might be able to really, you know, find what we really need to work. But Andy Cohen is very much, I mean, you can tell on his interviews, he was very much like, I'm excited. I, he said that he already saw the first seven episodes and that the show is really good. But he was also very serious into saying, like, this is a very important moment for Atlanta. And if, if I mean, girl, it was literally saying, if they don't deliver, if they don't give, bye bye. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Are you excited for Atlanta? And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of Atlanta or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.